Okay, let us do this program 1.275. So this says a vertically oriented uniform rod of mass capital M and length L can rotate about its upper end. So let us say what we have. So we have a rod. The length of the rod is L and the mass of the rod is capital M. And this rod can freely rotate about the vertical end. So there is a, this round is hinged on the top, it can rotate about this axis, so this is the axis of rotation, so axis, so it can rotate about this axis, are you getting? Now question says, a small ball uh, is a horizontally flying bullet of mass M strikes the lower end of the rod and gets uh, stuck into it. As a result, the rod swings through angle alpha. So let us say there is a bullet and that is coming in a line of horizontal. So this bullet is coming in a line of lower end. And after the collision, what happens? This bullet gets embedded into this one. And the rod goes up by angle alpha. So question says, after collision, what happens? So let me write here itself. So I can make the diagram. So this rod swings through an angle alpha after the collision. Are you getting? I think are you, are you able to see this one? So this rod swings through an angle alpha, of course, and the bullet is inside the rod. So this is my bullet. So bullets get embedded into the rod. So this is my bullet bullet is a part of rod so this means bullet gets embedded and it is also given mass of the bullet is very very small with respect to the mass of rod so m is the mass of rod that is very high and a small mass is the mass of bullet that is very small and the angle by which this swings is alpha that is given to you. Assume that M is much much less than capital M, find the velocity of flying bullet. So what you have to find is first part A, what is the velocity of bullet initially. So let us say velocity of bullet is U you have to find what is the value of u. So your target is to find u. Now how will you proceed? This collision is not elastic in nature because this bullet collides with this lower end and gets embedded into this. There are so many amount of heat that will be generated, sound will be generated. So collision is not elastic, even it's completely inelastic. In case of completely inelastic collision, two ob object gets embedded to each other or you can say two object becomes a single object. So this is the case of completely inelastic collision. So this is a inelastic collision or complete inelastic collision. Now I cannot apply energy conservation. So energy conservation I cannot apply. Can I apply momentum conservation? Let us think slightly. This is important part. Can I apply momentum conservation in this question? Is there any horizontal force that is acting in the system? System is bullet plus rod as my system. So bullet plus rod as a system, is there any horizontal force that is applied on bullet plus rod system? Of course, there is a horizontal force. Now once this bullet collides with this rod, and now there is a hinge that is basically attached to the ball, so what will happen as soon as there is a force that bullet supply to the rod, there is a force that will generate it at this inch. If you see what will happen to the rod, now let us, this is the rod. Now there is a hinge and this hinge is basically connected to the ball. So this goes inside the ball because you can only keep this rod with support of the ball. Now if you are applying a force here, with a small force, with a large force, the same point of time, this hinge 
how do you see this nail will apply a force in this direction impulsive force so this force that is external force that is coming from the ball and that is basically external force so this external force is not limiting in nature so this force that is coming from the ball and that is impulsive so the force F is due to the ball that is external force that is and this ball is basically you can also say due to the nail because nail is a part of the ball this force is impulsive in nature so if this force is impulsive in nature I cannot apply the momentum conservation now but still I can apply the angular momentum conservation if you see about this point this is a hinge there is no torque as acting about this point because this is a free rotation so still there is no torque about this point let us call this point as A so there is no torque about A, a. so I can write T is equals to 0 this suggests me I can still apply momentum conservation angular momentum conservation about A so I can apply angular momentum conservation I think I have copied this one so if you apply angular momentum conservation let us write initial angular momentum so this bullet is coming with a speed u and the distance from here is L so m v r so m u into L is the initial momentum m u L this is the initial angular momentum and this try to move in this way initial momentum will have sign something like this are you getting because this will have a tendency to rotate this direction so if I take from this this is in direction in this now the final angular momentum now I can assume this rod is rotating with angular velocity omega so the rod is rotating with angular velocity omega I can write I into omega and I will be ml square by 3 into omega because the mass of the bullet is so small I can neglect the mass of the bullet that will contribute to the moment of inertia you see the rod will have moment of inertia about this point is ml square by 3 but bullet will also have some moment of inertia about this point but bullet is so a small mass I can assume the contribution in moment of inertia due to bullet is negligible so the moment of inertia will remain same as simply moment of inertia of this rod and now this again this is a tendency in this direction so the angular direction of angular moment of it this is also anti-clockwise so direction is anti-clockwise in this case also so if I equate these two I will have mul this is equals to ml square by 3 into omega ll goes so I can find omega from here so omega will be 3 mu by m into l so this is my omega are you getting now what will happen next now this is the omega just after the collision So you have rod plus bullet system here. So bullet is here. And now this has angular velocity omega. So this will move up. So after some time we will have something like this. So this will move up and this rod will reach here. Are you getting? Now this angle is alpha. Now I can apply energy conservation. Because in this case angular velocity is omega now this will this rod will rotate with angular velocity omega now there is no loss in energy because this hinge is a frictionless hinge now this bullet is embedded inside this rod so there is no loss of energy so I can say energy conservation I can apply right now so that is loss in kinetic loss in potential energy or basically kinetic energy now I will apply in this form loss in potential kinetic energy is equals to gain in potential energy gain in potential energy are you getting 
Now this says, this rod reaches maximum this rod and goes to angle alpha. So at this point of time, when this rod reaches at this position, omega will be zero because this is the final position. It cannot go up more. So this means at this point of time, the velocity of this rod becomes zero. So loss in kinetic energy is initial kinetic energy is half i omega square and the final kinetic energy is zero. Now gain in potential energy, you see, I can neglect the mass this. So what is the potential energy gain? So for rod, rod mass is kept at this in the medial. So initially you have that is mg L by 2 and the final you will have, so this is L by 2 and this angle is alpha, so this angle will be L by 2 alpha cos alpha. So now I can say gain is mg L by 2 1 minus cos alpha. I think all of you are able to understand this equation and I is moment of inertia about this point so half ml square by 3 into omega square this is equals to mg l by 2 1 minus cos alpha are you getting now if I plug the value of omega square from the previous one are you able to understand this equation or not 1 minus cos alpha but the gain in potential you can understand easily so this is the initial situation this is the final situation this is the initial height of the center of mass now this is the final height of center of mass so what is the gain so this height is l by 2 are you getting and now this height is l by 2 cos alpha because this angle is alpha so this height will be l by 2 cos alpha so what is this height? This height is again, this height is L by 2. So what is this height? This height will be L by 2 minus L by 2 cos alpha. That is the gain in potential. I think all of you are able to understand this one. There is no, no mathematics involved here. Easy, easy things. Now let us plug the value of omega from the last. Omega you see half, and you see your copy, ml square by 3. What is the value of omega? that is 3 mu so you see here this is 3 mu by capital M into L so 3 mu by capital M into L if you square this one you will have mg L and 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2 and 2 to cancel out so this will be simply sin square alpha by 2 now mm goes out are you getting and 1 L also so let us say you will have 1 by 6 L square so L square L square goes out so you will have 3 into 3 9 M square U square so 9 M square U square divided by M square L square gets cancelled out here so you will have this into Z L sin square alpha by 2 so if you see uh, 3 into 2, so you will have 3 into 3, so 2 by 3 this side, 2 by 3 ZL, ZL sin square alpha by 2 and M square by M square, capital M square by a small M square, this is equals to U square, are you getting? So if you take the root both side, U will be 2MZL. Uh, okay, let me see. So what you will have m by m into sin alpha by 2 and root 2zl by 3. Are you getting? So the final initial velocity of bullet will be I can write m sin alpha by 2 by m multiplied by under root 2zl by 3. So this is the initial velocity of the bullet. Are you getting? You see, uh, one important point we have to apply the angular moment of conservation. Now part B of the question says, let me do the part B, I think all of you have copied this one. So part B says, 
so this is 1.275 so part b says the moment incre momentum increment of the system bullet plus rod during the impact what causes the change in momentum so you have to find what is the change in momentum increment in momentum so you have to find what is the delta p what is the initial momentum initial momentum was m into u so p initial was m into u everybody knows so you see mass of this is m here you have and this is going with velocity u so this is m into u let us say this direction is positive x direction so this direction is my positive x direction so this m into u is a positive are you getting so this is a positive because it's the same direction what is the final momentum you will have just after the collision just after the collision what is the final momentum just after the collision if you see uh, you can think of this rod is moving with angle, angle velocity omega so you have to find linear momentum of the rod so let us find p final i will use the next space so what is happening after the collision this is your bullet plus rod system after the collision this is moving with angular velocity omega now you can consider the center of mass of the rod so center of the mass of the rod is moving with velocity angular velocity omega into l by 2 that is the linear velocity of center of mass of the rod so what is the momentum of linear momentum of rod so rod will have linear momentum m into omega l by 2 mv bullet will also have a linear velocity omega into l so linear momentum of bullet will be m into omega into l so what will be the final angle, final linear momentum we will have p final will be m into omega into l by 2 plus m omega l what is the change in angular momentum so you see this is approximately equals because m omega l m is much much smaller than capital m so this is approximately equals to m omega l by 2 are you getting so what is the change in uh, linear momentum that is pf minus pi pf is m omega l by 2 and initial linear angular momentum is m into u you have so you see m into u we have already said initial momentum is m into u you see the back face we have written initial momentum is m into u and final momentum is m omega so this is the difference now let us plug the value of omega to check your copy what is the value of omega you see omega is 3 mu by capital m into l so this value 3 mu you will have 3 mu divided by m into capital l into l by 2 Okay, I think uh, let us does not do this approximation. Let us try to find the total change. I will do the approximation in the last. So this is m omega l by 2 plus m omega l. So I have to add m omega l also minus m u. So I am not doing approximation right now. We will do approximation if possible in the end. So m omega l by 2 that is the angular momentum of the rod and m omega l is the momentum of the bullet. so let us does not do approximation here so p final will be m omega l by 2 plus m omega l minus m u because there is a length that is also multiplied so maybe this multiplied of length and omega m term might be increased so let us skip this term we will do approximation in the last so l by 2 plus m omega l so you will have m and the value of omega is same so what can do is i have to plug the value of omega again so you will have 3 m u by m into l this is the value of omega into l minus m into u so what is the value of u 
u is m you check your copy sin alpha by 2 divided by capital a small m under root 2 gl by 3 so if I do this calculation what is the final answer I will get okay so we can do this approximation basically I can make the calculation simpler I have done slightly things are becoming complicated so let us say uh, what I can do is so this value and this value I have to plug the value of u again so let us do approximation so this value is here so small m is very small so what what can I do is uh, let us leave this calculation so let us let us leave this one so let us drop this part this is let us keep the calculation on uh, approximation on if you write so m omega l I can neglect because the complication uh, calculation become complicated so let us say m is a small so I can neglect this m I am sorry for doing calculation two times m omega l by 2 so let us skip this one so this calculation m omega l so what will the change in momentum is m omega l by 2 into so let us this term is gone minus mu so what is the change in momentum so that is delta p will be equals to so the final angular momentum is m omega l by 2 m omega l by 2 minus initial angular momentum that is m u to u are you getting now what is the value of omega into l so you check if you see one equation m into o, capital m into omega into l this is equals to 3 m u so let us plug this value here so this is 3 s small m u by 2 minus m u so this is simply m u by 2 now the calculation becomes simpler uh, we have put the value of u and that's why the calculation becomes difficult now m by 2 and value of u will be we have already said m sin alpha by 2 by a small m into under root 2 gl by 3 are you getting so this will be mm goes out so we will have capital m sin alpha by 2 under root gl by so this will be 4 so gl by 6 i think all of you are able to get this one So this is the moment increment. Why this moment increases? Because of there is external force that is acting on the rod plus mass system, and that's why there is a change in linear momentum. Have you copied this one or not? You see what the mistakes we are doing. Uh, here I have done some calculation mistakes. Again, let me try to explain the thing. Final angular momentum will be angular momentum of rod that is m omega l by 2 because center of mass is moving with omega l by 2. Mass of the rod is capital M, so this is the ma angular, uh, linear momentum of the rod. Now, linear momentum of the bullet will be a small m into omega l is the linear velocity. So, this is the total momentum of the bullet plus rod system. But now I can do approximation that is the final angular linear momentum is this plus this. But now I can say the mass is so small I can neglect this one. So this is approximately equals to m omega l by 2. So this term only remains. Now the change in linear momentum will be m omega l by 2 this is the final minus m u that is initial. Now you see omega l is equals to uh, we have already written omega l into capital M this is equals to 3 m u by 2. Now do this calculation and we get this result. Now let us discuss the C part of the question. C part says where the bullet should hit so that the linear momentum also remains conserved. Now you see in this case linear momentum was not conserved. Now the question says where the bullet should hit. Let us say bullet hits at a distance. Let us say initially I was writing from this side. So bullet is coming from this side and this hits at a distance of so this distance uh, is total distance is L 
let us say this distance is x so this hits or I can take the top distance so this distance is x so this hits at a distance of x from the top so bullet is hitting at a distance of x from the top this distance will be l minus x now question says what should be the value of x so what should be the value of x so that linear momentum also remains conserved of course angular momentum will be conserved so in this case angular momentum will be mux that is the initial angular momentum will be final angular momentum so again this is the moving with angular velocity omega dash let us say so half uh, i omega i omega so i is ml square by 3 so this is i into let us say moving with omega dash so this is the angular momentum conservation i can write now the question also says what should be the condition of on x so that the linear momentum also remains conserved so initial linear momentum is m into u final linear moment angular moment linear momentum will be the bullet i can neglect the momentum of bullet because bullet is small mass now center of mass is somewhere here let us say center of mass is somewhere here so if this is moving with <laughs> rod is moving with angular velocity omega dash uh, what will be the linear velocity of center of mass that is omega dash into l by 2 so the moment moment will be m into linear velocity is omega dash into l by 2 so this is the condition when linear momentum as well as angular momentum both is conjured now you can solve for omega dash if i divide this to equation i will have m e goes out so x by 1 this is equals to so omega dash also goes so I have m also goes so you will have l square by 3 divided by l by 2 if you divide this to equation so from here you will have l by uh, x is equals to l square by 3 into l by 2 are you getting so you will have x is equals to 2 l by 3 so if bullet hits of the rod at a distance of 2 l by 3 the angular momentum as well as linear momentum both will be conserved you see what we are doing is we are conserving the linear momentum as well as angular momentum if I conserve the linear angular momentum so angular momentum of the bullet is m u into x angular momentum of the rod is rod is i into omega i is ml square by 3 into omega dash and the linear momentum conservation m into u and the linear momentum of rod will be m into b mass of the bullet is m uh, sorry mass of the rod is capital m and the center of mass is moving with angular velocity linear velocity omega dash into l by 2 and linear momentum bullet i can neglect so basically what i am doing is neglecting the bullet linear momentum and that is true because mass is very small bullet momentum are you getting and now if you divide these two equations you will get the x is equals to l by 2 l by 3 now see this means if the bullet sits at different different position the hinge reaction will be different you see when it hits at the end linear momentum does not remain conserved but if it hits at a distance of 2 l by 3 from the top linear momentum remains conserved this means at that point of time hinge is not applying any force if it is apply a force the momentum is not going to be conserved so the hinge reaction is a function of x somebody can somebody if somebody wants he can decide or he can derive expression for reaction force as a function of x and from there also he can find when the reaction force will be zero and that comes out to be if it hits at the distance x equals to 2 l by 3 reaction force will be zero now what are the important point we have in this question is we have two part of this question first the collision of bullet with the rod when the collide you have to conserve the angular momentum and after the collision you have to conserve the energy so that the system can go up by some angle theta or some angle alpha in this case that is given another important point you have assumption is mass of the bullet is so small i can neglect contribution due to after uh, when this is embedded into the rod 
we can neglect the contribution due to the small bullet in angular momentum as well as in linear momentum because mass is so small it is not going to contribute the angular momentum term it is not going to contribute the linear momentum term that's another assumption we have and third third thing we have to see the momentum gets changed why this is happening because hinge applies a force and that's why momentum gets changed to find out the linear momentum of rod I have to consider the velocity of center of mass of rod and I have to consider total mass of the rod is kept at the center of mass that is the important points we have in this program and we have basically done this problem elaborately this is like a big problem but good problem only thing is you cannot apply angular moment in linear momentum conservation initially because hinge apply your force that is very very important in this case but let's discuss the next problem i think all of you have copied this one